<laughs> Where are you from? Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, why do you insist that Mayor Barry stay in office? Well, I have an aunt and uncle that live over there. You know, they keep voting for him every year, so obviously he must be a good mayor towards the city. So I don't <laughs> see no reason for why not, you know, he run again and win, you know? What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. He did go to the right spot. I give him that yeah, yeah. credit. Elvisley. I just like to know where this spot is. Yeah, I like Because it seems like... <laughs> Elvisley, they're good. Uh, he's a good man. It seems like if you listen to this tape, he went just up a row of people. Yeah. Like, he didn't go to a lot of different places. Yeah. Where is this place so we can avoid it, that he went? Whew. All right, let's keep going. Your age, sir, 29. And your weight, uh, it's about four seven. I mean five seven. About five, five seven. seven. Five seven. This is weight. <laughs> <laughs> and how tall are you? One hundred thirty five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you don't want to know something. This guy's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good interviewer. <laughs> John may be in jeopardy. We yeah. This guy. I'm thinking of getting this guy a regular gig. If this guy stuttered, he'd be a god. Your weight. And your I weight, sir? Do you think that Effie Barry is a lesbian? <laughs> uh, no, no, no way. And tell me, sir, do you hate Jews? No, I don't hate Jews at all. Have a good day. You can have one. <laughs> <laughs> do you hate Jews? Boy, interesting question. <laughs> cool. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, where would we get this guy from? You know, after Jim left... Get him on the phone. I will. <laughs> this is an amazing After Jim left, person. he just called up one day and said, I'm the new producer. <laughs> I gotta hear one more. Let me hear one and more. And do you hate Jews? He's like <laughs> Walter Cronkite yes. asking that question. See, he's got kind of a good delivery, too, you know? <laughs> it's kind of, like, very official. Yes, he sounds like he might know something. I wonder if he had, if he had a jacket and tie on, it'd be perfect. Oh, and do you hate Jews? <laughs> he actually, a little bit later on down the line, he actually gets somebody to say yes. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I'll get that. All right. I'm looking forward to that. Morning. I'm Thomas Grooms from WJFK Radio and the Howard Stern Show in the morning. Are you familiar with Howard, sir? I've heard of him. Have you? Can you come a little closer to the mic? Right. The reason that I'm here, Howard would like to know if you insist on keeping Mayor Barry in office. Keeping Mayor Barry in office? He's got to go. Oh, this guy, oh, this guy would make some that? sense. Because, uh, first of all, he's an adulterer. And that's not a leadership quality that I want in a mayor. Uh, what is your name, sir? I don't care to give my name. Hey, uh, I have to ask you a couple of demographic questions for Howard. How about your weight? My weight? Yes. I'm 210. And how old are you? I'm uh, 42. Do you think that Effie is a lesbian? <laughs> Effie? Effie, uh, Mayor Barry's wife. What is that? I don't have any idea on that. <laughs> and the other question that I'd like to ask you, how long have you been black? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a better way of asking a guy's age? What would I have to ask to make you hit me? What? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Will you please beat me <laughs> for being an idiot? Oh, cool. Wait a second. Hey, you're a lunatic. Thank you. You're on the air. <laughs> what are those demographic questions all about? Well, what happened was uh, I got out there. And I stayed out there, I guess, about two hours and decided, well, I wanted to ask some more questions. So I yep. called Ed yesterday afternoon, and he was rolling on the floor, and she said that you would probably approve of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's another good question there, Howard. I know. We're getting to them all, but... Uh, oh, yeah, we're not stopping this tape. Yeah. Well, I, uh, you don't have Tourette's, do you? <laughs> no, I don't have Tourette's. I, I worked at um, WHFS for about nine years. Maybe he has far. Tourette's. Maybe that's the problem. Like, those questions aren't really his. It's uh, just he's yelling them out. Yeah. Do you hate juice? Hey, what is your weight? What is your weight? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you were at WHFS, and then what happened? Uh, from 72 to 81. As a jock? Uh, yeah, I did the night show. I also did mornings for a couple of years. That's a weird station. That's one of those hippie stations yeah. that uh, a couple of them still exist in the country. WHFS in Washington is a hippie station. The jocks can play whatever they want and stuff. Yeah. So uh, as a result, you get a bunch of guys who refuse to leave... And they met, they lived their whole lives there. Didn't we meet one guy who was a jock at HFS and used to live at the radio station? Yeah, that sounds like a real familiar story. Which guy was that? That remember, Freddie? We met one of the guys one night, and he lived actually in like it, it was Weasel. 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 That yes. was the guy. 
I moved weasel. him in, Howard. Did you? Yeah, I had to pick up all the stuff and move him in. But anyway, I left. Weasel was this guy's name. Yeah. And uh, Weasel was this jock who, I guess, you know, all the jocks there, you know, my estimation, didn't have real hot deliveries or anything, and they just all kind of just stayed there. No, no, None of them leave. Yeah, nobody was looking for these people. No, it was just like, <laughs> hey, you know, it's just a day and read, and read p- cool PSAs. Weasel. Well, I couldn't find Let's save the account. rainforest, people. Let's save the rainforest. Uh, coming up this Saturday, we'll be holding a rally in Washington, D.C., by the memorial, and uh, we'd like everybody's attendance. Here's, um, here's an album by Bonnie Bramlett, the entire album. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just spin it. <laughs> hey, cool, I'm playing some Bonnie Bramlett. Nobody plays Bonnie Bramlett, man. I was reading some interview with some uh, one of these guys who has one of these hippie stations. He's talking about how... It's our responsibility to play all the new music and stuff. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. going, oh boy, this guy must be making tons of dough. <laughs> it's got a responsibility. Right, so one other thing. I worked with Dave Brown and Steve Kingston at Winks. I got a good story for you about that. <laughs> well, uh, you better let me screen that first. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't have much of an idea of what you're supposed to put on the air, and I like that. <laughs> but I, I'm real happy to be working at Infinity with legends like the Nightbird and yeah. yourself. That's right. Thank you, my friend. Okay. Well, we like having you. Well, good, man. I've been here for about a year and a half. Surf called me. It took him seven years. I was down in Southern Maryland as a PD, and he finally called me and said, get your... Uh, you, you mean know, you were a program up. director, and now you're the guy just running the our show? I do Saturday nights. I do an hour before you go on, and uh, I do fill-ins. I've been here for, since December of 88. Oh, okay. So well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Pretty happening guy. Okay. Keep listening to it. I hope you dig it, man. It's just amazing. This guy's been uh, in radio longer than us. 20 years and two months. Now he's playing our tapes and stuff. Wow. That's good. That's kind of cool. Levine, Ed Levine says I'm crazy. <laughs> Ed, Levine Ed Levine is right. Ed Levine may be right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> this might be the first time Ed's been right. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty Ed's wild. Man. What's your name again, Tom? Tom Grooms. Tom Grooms. And all I have to say is death to the zoo. Right on. All right, buddy. Thank you. Bye. I think we got a company man there. And he's one of those HFS guys. He's going to be with the company a long time. Yeah, he won't leave. No, he's a real <laughs> dedicated guy. He's got a good track record. I was with them for nine years. Made no money. This guy Weasel that we met one night, Fred and I were working on the album, and uh, this guy Weasel was up there, and he was telling us, uh, like, you know how we're on this floor? Yeah. He had an apartment on the floor above right. the radio station. <laughs> and he was just there all the time. Sure, where else was he going to go? I wonder if he's still there. They couldn't have paid much at that station. Weasel. <laughs> no, and it was the guy who owned it had his son running it. Yeah. His name was Einstein. <laughs> I remember that. Einstein. Fir- that was his first name? No. Second name. Oh. Einstein. First was Albert. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Einstein. The whole family was Einstein. But they weren't from that family. Right. And I remember the dad re- owned the station. And the- I think the son was always getting into arguments with his dad or something. <laughs> I mean, you know, about... <laughs> about where to take the station. Yeah, but you know, in, in, in uh, lieu of that, I should also, after we finish playing this tape, read the John Gambling Jr. Uh, story on ah, the air yeah. because it's really very funny. It was a big uh, it was a big falling out over at OR. Oh, really? I want to hear about yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. Okay. Talking about guys in radio and their dads. It's a pretty cool story. Yeah, let's get to that. All right, but let me, let's finish this. Let's this finish. is too good. I don't know what else he could possibly ask. He says there's more to come. I heard the tape was 10 minutes, and I told Gary, why don't you go cut it down? It must be very long and boring. And Gary said, listen, I just listened to this tape. There's nowhere to cut. <laughs> <laughs> There's nowhere to cut on this tape. you got to play the whole damn 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Is, do you hate Jews? Do well, I hate Jews? Yes, of course not. Very good. Well, you have a good day. Very good. You answered correctly. You I'm Thomas Grooms from WJFK Radio and the Howard Stern Show in the morning. And Howard would like me to ask you a couple of questions. Howard. Next time, though, the only thing, the only criticism I have is he's a reporter. It's just like when uh, Dan Rather goes out and does an interview. He doesn't say, you know, Larry Tish wants me to ask you a few questions. Right? Yeah. Right. But he's new. Do you think that Mayor Barry should remain in office, sir? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Could I get your age? Or demographic? 44? Well, thank you. You have a nice day. Just don't run over me. What's your name, sir? What happened? He ran away, the guy? I get the impression the guy was angry. Sounds like he was getting in his car. Yeah. (laughs) Just don't run. 41. 41. I have to ask you a couple of demographic questions. Johnny, do you insist that Mayor Barry stay in office? 
No. Why not? I want the guys who insist on him. Because I feel that he's, uh... Wake up, Johnny. He's sick. He's sick. Tell me, do you think Effie is a lesbian, his wife? <laughs> well, I don't think about it. Well, I don't think she's a lesbian, though. No. Hey, can I ask you a couple more demographic questions? Your weight. <laughs> 195. And your height. 57. Johnny, do you hate Jews? No. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you sir. sir, do you... Th- I like this guy. Very mechanical. Yeah, yeah. Know? I like that. <laughs> Like, have a good day. There's no, there's no follow-up. You know, why do you think Barry should be in? I think he should be. Okay, do you think Effie's a Jew? <laughs> yeah, right. If you think Effie's a Jew, they should mix them up. Do you think Effie's a Jew? Do you hate lesbians? <laughs> hey, let's finish this tape. Come on. All right. All right, so... we got more uh, interviews yeah. to do here. Yesterday, Robin was doing the news and uh, informed us that a lot of black people in Washington would vote for Mayor Marion Barry. Again. Again. And if Jesse Jackson ran against him, he would lose. So we said, who are these black people? <laughs> we, want, we want to know. So there's this guy who produces our show in Washington who we had no clue that he was this talented. <laughs> he went out and interviewed black people. But he decided to make up his own questions. All I wanted him to ask was, would you vote for Mayor Barry again? Yeah. But he and went he's out. out in, say, do you insist that Mayor Barry yeah. be the mayor of Washington D.C.? Then he starts asking weight questions, Jewish questions, <laughs> lesbian questions about the mayor's wife. I, I mean, this guy went completely wacky. <laughs> on out it. of control. So listen, and uh, I don't know. I forget where we are in the tape. Barry should remain in office. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why? Because of the circumstances surrounding uh, what's transpired right now in the media with the uh, drug charges and that sort of thing, I definitely think he should not run for re-election. Right. I have a couple of demographic questions. Your age, sir? 35. And your weight? Say again? Your weight. <laughs> weight? 160. And do you think that Effie is a lesbian? <laughs> I have no comment on that. No comment on that. One other question, sir. Do you hate Jews? No comment. And my last question. No comment. No comment. (laughs) (laughs) This guy's nuts. (laughs) I think it was actually necessary for Jimi Hendrix to excuse himself every time he kissed the sky. (laughs) (laughs) Give me a break, man. (laughs) Give me a break. Like, Where did that question come from? That was a new one. That's a new one. Yeah. Does he continue to ask that one? I don't think so. Scott no, said he right. asked that like once or twice. This is kind of in the middle of it. I like the guy. He, he actually found a few guys who were against Mayor yeah. Barry, but a lot of them were for him. Seems to be more for. Yeah, so far. We're getting ready to have lunch, so we have to get a lady's perspective on things. Good afternoon. I'm Thomas Grooms from WJFK Radio and the Howard Stern Show. Are you familiar with Howard Stern in the morning? No. Oh, yes. Never heard of him? Yes. You've heard of him, ma'am. What is, uh, what is your age, ma'am? 50. 50 years old. I have to ask a couple of demographic questions for Howard today. Do you insist that Mayor Barry remain in office? No, I don't. You don't? Why? How can we... Well, I feel that uh, he's done a lot of good for the city, but um, the time has come now for him just to move on. Um because he now he's doing more harm than good. Well, if he's asked her the lesbian question, I'm I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, Get ready for the DCs. Oh really? Uh-oh, I think so. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh Let's man. Let's all like fasten our seatbelts. <laughs> everybody, everybody, just everybody, calm down. Take your medication. We have a maniac working with us <laughs> in Washington. I don't know why my name had to be brought up. Uh, the other question I had to ask, I won't ask you your weight because ladies don't like that, but do you think that Effie was a lesbian? Uh oh. <laughs> There's an alarm going off. Now the first between the sentence terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. All right, all right. I won't comment on that. Yes, it is. Okay, well, my last question was: It necessary for Jimi Hendrix to say "excuse me" when he kissed the sky? Oh boy. My last question: Do you hate Jews? Nah. Have a good day. Enjoy your oh, man. Bye bye. <laughs> And so, we didn't even put him up to this. No. You know, I mean, uh, John goes out and asks <laughs> wacky questions because we put him up to it. Maybe John's getting stale. Maybe we got to just use this guy for a while. This guy thinks on his own, too, Pete. 
Maybe all our interviewing should be done in Washington. Oh, my goodness. Would he satellite this to us? Yeah. He did it yesterday, and they set it up with ABC and sent it right You think out. the guy who invented satellite <laughs> had this in mind? <laughs> it's important that Howard get this on the next day. I better invent something that he could just sort of, like, beam it off a satellite. <laughs> If this guy does a Millie Vanilli impression, he's hired. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta unload a little dead wood. Of Howard Stern? Yes, I do. You listen to Howard? All the time. Great. Listen, Howard asked me to ask you a couple of questions. I did not. First of all, do you insist uh, that Mayor Barry remain in office? Yeah, I think he should stay in office because everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're that forgiving when I get in trouble. I'm telling you. And, you know. He's human. You'd vote for him? Yes, I would. And what about the gentleman here with you? What's your name, sir? Chico. Chico, do you think Mayor Barry should stay in office? Yes, I agree with my partner here, Dirty <laughs> Harry. Oh, partnership. Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. <laughs> oh, my, my partner. Goodness. I guess they're working undercover. In Chico the Chico and Dirty Harry. Yeah. I know a lot of black guys have partners. Yeah. In fact, even during the Arsenio Hall interview, he's talking about his partner. Right. Well, they're not, not a woman. business together. Yeah, a business partner. It his is partner. a business yeah, partner. His oh, partner. I see. Okay. I know, because when I was growing up in Roosevelt, I was in elementary school. Guys had partners. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they're my partner. <laughs> like everybody was in like a, a, a corporate position. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's what he's saying. It's a Chico and uh, Dirty Harry are uh, well, hanging I don't around. know what business they're in, but... <laughs> uh, my partner. Uh, let me refer you to my partner here. No, I but agree with my partner. No, but that is a black thing, mm -hmm. having, like, a partner. Even if you got, like, no business. <laughs> you always partner up. Right. It's always cool to have, like, your partner. <laughs> you know, it just gives you a feeling of power. Chico. Chico, do you think Mayor Barry should stay in office? Yes, I agree with my partner here, Dirty Harry. <laughs> Dirty Harry. Yes. Hey, can I ask you this demographic question? How old are you, Dirty Harry? I'm 19 years old. And how about you, sir? I'm 19 also. And I think they work with IBM. Uh, I, I guess agree they with started my the company. Here. Yeah. I'm 19. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. I weigh about 145, 150. About foot 150. Okay. Uh, <laughs> tell me, do you think that Effie is a lesbian? Yes, I heard. Oh, ah. yes. These guys do think so. she is. What is, it, what is this thing with Effie as a lesbian? There are rumors. Well, that's a terrible thing yeah, to ask. Yeah, to ask people about rumors is ridiculous. Yeah, we don't do that kind of stuff. I didn't even know that there was even a rumor. I just knew yeah. you made this question. I mean, there are rumors about every celebrity being a lesbian. Sure, there are rumors about me. There are? There are? <laughs> yeah, there were. Actually, when we were in yeah. Washington, there were rumors that you were a lesbian. There were rumors here. Until yeah, you went on that man rampage. <laughs> they floated right into NBC now that I remember. Yeah. Everyone and NBC, they it. thought you were a lesbian. Sure. And I used to hear it, I never would say anything because I'd go... Because people say to me, is Robin a lesbian? And i go, hey, man, shut up! <laughs> you know, I Shut up! I probably shouldn't say this, but the, like the first year I worked for you guys, people used to ask me that a lot, and I, all I could say was, I don't think so. Right. Like, I, was never, I wasn't sure my Because <laughs> Robin didn't have a regular date. <laughs> She's right. She never went out. How many times have I always asked Fre if Fred was gay until he started dating <laughs> girls? I don't want to say anything, Fred. Thank God you got that Jewish girlfriend. <laughs> no. This guy's wild. <laughs> but he found two people who say yes, I think. Because remember, Fred, when you weren't dating for a while? Because you were just into... You remember, I used to say, Fred, why don't you get a girlfriend? you go, hey, man, I'm, I'm into my work thing now. Yeah, it's true. Right? Yeah. I'm a lesbian, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fred's a little uncomfortable with this conversation. I'll move on. Well, I, I was a little upset that you actually thought that. I, I didn't think it. Oh, People used to ask on, me. Come on, come on. Howard, uh, Howard I never thought it. The biggest Question phony right, right now. I did wonder. Let's not, let's not even discuss this because I <laughs> All right, know, I wondered. I, I did wonder. <laughs> All right, I wondered too. Well, enough people had said it. Oh, I, was, well, I wasn't the only one who wondered. Let's put it this way. Did you ever see me kiss a guy? You ever see me hold a guy? No, you ever see me ask no I did not. Out? Then what's your proof? I didn't see you ask anybody out. That was the thing. Oh, oh, so that I don't know how he could be so indignant. And there though. were girls throwing oh, themselves out. I never him. see you asking any girls. So, so what if you're married? That she could be a beard. How do I know? Are those your kids? <laughs> this is Fred's <laughs> new persona: the yelling, the screaming Fred. It's the only way I can do it. Mike never around. But I happen to know that you and Fred used to sit in the room and discuss me, so I don't know how right. he could be so indignant. That's true. I never, I never said Robin was a lesbian. Never even crossed my mind. Uh, okay. uh, well, maybe a little. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. But I didn't. All right, Doctor Norris. <laughs> Describe yourself a Valium. All right, here we go. Valium's all right. 
Okay. Um, do you hate Jews? No, I don't hate anybody. How about you, sir? No, sir. And one last question for Howard. Hmm. Do you think that Jimi Hendrix had to excuse himself? I don't get this question. This guy. No comment. Okay. <laughs> no comment. comment. Harry, you made mine. Okay, you too. Take it easy. Uh, what, uh, Howard. Want to say anything to Howard? Nah, just take it easy, Howard. Have a good day. All right, All right. keep listening to WJFK. Keep that music pumping. All right, my <laughs> man. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm asking some questions. Keep that music pumping. <sighs> Up the jam. Well, I might play some Black Crows later. Oh, good. Yeah. I like them. That. Yeah. I want to replay that thing they did for us. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's nuts. <laughs> Do you think Jimi Hendrix had to keep saying excuse me every time he wanted to kiss this guy? Should I play one more? Gary? Uh, I can actually, why don't you let me cue it up to... Uh, yeah, the best this, last this one, this is the best right, Get the good one. one. All right. We got to wondering, because Robin did a uh, news story about how in Washington all the black people would vote for Mayor Barry again. Well, just about all the black people. He would win in a race with Jesse Jackson, is what this poll I read said. Which is amazing to me, because actually I might even vote for him over Jesse Jackson. But <laughs> but it is amazing to me that a guy who is an adulterer, who is uh, on cocaine and alcohol, who's running around with a woman, you know, behind his wife's back, going to co you know... The, the, he's done the whole gamut of things. Everything but run the city is what I've been right, right. on the list. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's no way this guy had time to run the city. <laughs> Not when you're that busy with coke and alcohol. But yet the people there support him. So we said, this can't be true. So we sent out um, one of the guys from Washington who we had no idea was insane. <laughs> he was mentally insane, but kind of a fun guy. Yeah. He went out on the street and did his own interviews with black people. Which I thought were pretty funny too. Did you notice, like at the end of the conversations, you try to act black? What do you mean by that? I, I know. Hey, you... listen, listen oh. to this. You go, I just caught this as I was queuing it up. Take it easy, uh, what, uh, Howard. <laughs> Want to say anything to Howard? Nah, just take it easy, Howard. Have a good day. All right, keep listening to WJFK. Keep that music pumping. All right, my man. Oh, <laughs> my man. All right, my man. Yeah. All right, my man. So long, brother. Because if you're really going to talk <laughs> black, you clip off the end of your words. Yeah. Hey, man. M.A. <laughs> M.A. <laughs> what you mean? What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> you don't fit. If you, if you articulate the N at the end of mean, then you're, you're not black. You're not talking real jive talk. What you mean? What you mean, Irvin? The kid who used to beat me up in school was Irvin. Uh-huh. But I used to call him Irvin. <laughs> what you mean, Irvin? <laughs> no wonder he hit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But everyone called him that. You're not black. No one pronounced his name Irvin. <laughs> what you mean, Irvin? <laughs> what you mean, Irvin? So that if you're going to talk jive talk, that's a little nuance. Uh-huh. So our friend on the street there went, okay, my man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's obviously studied. That's pretty funny. Right. My man. My man. What you mean, Irvin? Uh, uh? What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, we uh, sent him out. And then this guy started asking, what's his name again? Tom, was it Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise. What or was something. his name? Tom Cruise. No. Tom Foos? <laughs> <laughs> Tom Foos. Tom Grooms. That's not Grooms, it's Tom Groove. <laughs> Tom Groove. <laughs> and you never pronounce the S at the end of the right. name. What you mean, Tom Groove? So, um... And then he started asking Effie Barry lesbian questions. Yeah, for some reason, all of a sudden, he came up with his own agenda. Yeah. But he's pretty funny. So here it is. Asking some questions. Do you insist that Mayor Barry stay in office? No. Why not? Because of all the publicity and because of the uh, things that have happened. Would you vote for him? No. No. Let me ask you this. Do you think that Effie is a lesbian? Who's Effie? Effie's his wife. No. No? Let me ask you... Uh, I've never heard that before. Where did you get that from? Never heard that before? No. I, I never heard it before. Wrong. Howard Stern Show. Are you familiar with Howard Stern <laughs> I never. I never even heard 
of uh, this rumor? Well, there is such a rumor. You don't live in Washington. Oh, okay. But there is such a rumor. We just want to say, by the way, none of it is true. No. We don't know anything. Yeah. This is, this is Tom Grooms. This is nothing to do with yeah, that. Yeah, right, right. We're not implying it in any way. <laughs> this is the workings of a madman. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? No. No. Well, you should listen to him. He's at 106.7. Ma'am, can I ask you your age? Yeah, I've heard 106.7 before. Good. It's uh, a white show. It's, it's for everybody. <laughs> I mean, the. What'd you say? It's a white it's show? It's a white show. Oh, oh good. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, only whites are allowed the to listen to this. Mostly white show. Mostly white. She didn't know if she could get in under that quota. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be caught in your car if you're black listening to this. <laughs> Good. Uh, the white show. Oh, it's for everybody. I mean, the music is... Oh, Howard, talk someone. that mix. No, no, it's not mixed. We have the best mix of classic rock and roll. <laughs> but, uh, the other stations are mixed up, not us. Anyway, uh, young, could I ask you your age, please? Forty-four. Forty-four. And your height? Five-four. And, ma'am, do you hate <laughs> Jews? No. Okay. Anyone. I do not hate anyone. That's great. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Do you, do you hate Jews? Do you hate Jews? Where did that one come from? Just him and Ed Levine thought it up together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ed Levine helped him with that. Oh, well, that would make sense. Levine's a Jew. I guess he's got a persecution complex. <laughs> you insist that Mayor Barry stay in office? Yeah. Yes? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, here's a black guy who insists that he does stay in office. Well, let's hear why. Because he's a nice mayor. Because he's a nice man. How about you, sir? I ain't got no comment. No comment at all. Could I ask you a couple of demographic questions? Your age? <laughs> 26. 26. Do you think that Effie is a lesbian? Yeah. You do? <laughs> that rumor is going around. <laughs> He's explaining. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> well, there you go. He found... Now I know why he's asking the question. Evidently, some people do feel this way. <laughs> and my other question is, do you think that uh, Mayor Barry will get back into office? I doubt it. You doubt it? Do you think that uh, everyone's against him? Right. Did you vote for home rule? No. Nope. No, you didn't. Do you hate Jews? Yeah. You do. How about you, sir? Yeah. You do. Oh, you hate Jews. <laughs> oh, well, he's really he's like going undercover. Do you hate Jews? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, let's continue with this very fascinating interview. <laughs> it was well, you have a good day. No, oh, he doesn't uh, even And sir, we're conducting oh. a survey. Are you familiar? What's wrong with him? Why didn't he ask why? Uh, he was scared. I guess at that point he got scared. I better get out of here. They hate you. <laughs> Is he Jewish? I don't know. <laughs> well, he asked your opinion. Yeah, wouldn't he want to know why? With Howard Stern? Yeah. Do you listen to Howard? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Well, what I'd like to uh, ask you is, do you think that Mayor Barry should remain in office? Hell no. Why not? Because he's a jerk. Mm -hmm. Let me see. So why? not all black people think he should stay in office. So those uh, polls must be wrong. Right. Thank you. But you guys were pretty interesting. I would have, yeah. you know... He should have he should have followed up. Yeah. I'm it's surprised interesting he didn't. to me that one of the Jew haters yeah. would make no comment on Marion Barry. But he commented but right on right away, Jews. are you <laughs> do you hate Jews? Yep. Well he was willing to comment on that, Robin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Was he a jerk? I mean, you know, anybody doing drugs and all. You know, it just ain't worth it, really. And there's no telling what he's doing behind the closed doors. You wouldn't vote for him? Nope. Tell me this, sir. Do you think that Effie is a lesbian? No comment. No comment. <laughs> I'd like to ask you a couple other Democrats. Everybody's learned that no comment. No comment thing. is yeah. amazing yeah. to me. No comment. What do you mean no comment? Have a These comment. Are public official. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they're being recorded. They don't want to. <laughs> yeah, and we actually know who they are. Maybe this guy's running for office. <laughs> for questions, your weight, sir. Good question. How about your height? Good question. All right. Mm. Do you hate Jews? No. Well, you have a good day. <laughs> no. <laughs> no to that. Kiss my big black ass, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, <laughs> you must be a fan of the show. I guess That's so. it. Yeah. That is hysterical. Kiss my big black ass. <laughs> 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 Nothing like going out on the street with that tape recorder. Uh, our, our, our man in Washington. 
Yeah, we got to think of more things to send him out. Yeah, we better ask him to uh, go out on the street again. But this actually gives us a pretty good idea. We should just send John out on the street with a tape recorder. Every day. With, with the most offensive things we could think of, because apparently no one... No yeah, one cares. they didn't no hear him. They didn't do anything. Evidently, people just don't, are so jaded they don't care anymore. <laughs> do you hate yours? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what do you think about the mayor? No comment. Okay. Now, we got a lot of good news going on here. I'm looking at some of these carts, and I'm kind of anxious to get to this stuff. Well, I thought we'd start right off with the Rob Lowe cut. Good. Rob Lowe was on Z100 yesterday with Ross and Wilson. Well, he...